Hey guys, if you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. First off, it's free. Secondly, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcast, and so many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimal listenership. It's everything you need in a podcast in one place. I absolutely love it. So make sure you download the free Anchor app or go to anchor, A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M to get started. Welcome back to Baby Bump Life's podcast. It's Nurse Wit here again, and we are on episode five, and I want to talk to you guys about how they are going to monitor your contractions and baby while you're in the hospital. There are a couple different options, and I just want you to be aware of each of these options so that um, you're able to ask questions if you... um, do have any about how they could affect you or baby. Um, So the very first one, if you are planning on a natural childbirth, so natural meaning you're planning on a vaginal delivery with no medications, um, nothing that would intervene where we would need to be continually monitoring the baby's heart rate. Um, then that may be an appropriate time where you could ask your doctor or nurse midwife if you could do just a Doppler to listen to the baby's heart rate. Most doctors um, will be okay with that in early labor as long as you don't have any risk factors, as long as you're not um, you know, seeing like a perinatologist, a high risk um, pregnancy doctor's office, anything like that. Um, And like I said, as long as you aren't on any medications uh, for induction or for pain meds, um, then the doctors may be okay with that. So the Doppler is um, nothing that's strapped onto you. It's just where they check the baby's heart rate. Depending on, again, what's going on and what your doctor allows, they may say that you can do it, you know, once an hour. Um, They may um, say every 30 minutes, something like that. Um, So... The Doppler is out there, but it's up to your doctor or nurse midwife ultimately on if you can have that. Uh, Probably the most standard is going to be the external fetal monitor and the tocometer or the toco. Um, These two go on the outside of your belly. And I'll first talk about the um, external fetal monitor. So that one, we put that on your belly with some gel and the gel allows us to be able to hear the baby's heart rate. Um, Without the gel, it's kind of hard to get a good reading. So um, we put gel on it, put that on and listen to the baby's heart rate um, and read it and interpret it based on the monitor. Um, There are several classes that we have to take as labor and delivery nurses um, to be able to interpret the baby's tracing on there. Um, Baby's heart rates look a lot different than our heart rates and what we're looking for based on their heart rate is different um, when they're in labor and and we can tell if they're in stress, um, having stress with a contraction or not. So it is very important that we are monitoring their heart rate. Um, So that's the external fetal monitor. The tocometer, that one reads your contractions and it's good for reading frequency and duration. It cannot read necessarily the strength of the contractions. There's another one that can do that, which I'll get into in just a second. But the tocometer just can tell us, yes, you're having a contraction. Here's how often and here's how long they're lasting. Now, if they hurt or not, the strength of them, we rely on you. Okay, Um, if we can't anymore because maybe you have an epidural, then I will tell you um, the other one that we use in a second here. So um, those are the two outside monitors. Now for the internal monitors. So for the baby, the internal monitor is called the FSC, fetal scalp electrode. And it's a little monitor that sits right onto the baby's head. Um, This is something that we have to be trained in doing. Um, There is a class that we have to take for this. This isn't something that just 
any nurse can do. You, you couldn't ask an ER nurse to do this and they would feel comfortable doing it. So um, it is in our specialty as labor and delivery nurses. Um, so the FSC, why would we want to put that on um, internally and, and put that onto the baby's head? Well, the re- reason we may need to do that is if the baby, um, if we're having difficulty reading the baby on the outside, maybe mom can only turn onto her left side because that's what's comfortable and we can't pick up the baby on that side. Um, or maybe the baby's in distress and coming off the monitor at times during the contraction and we really need to see what the baby's doing. So it's for the best interest of the baby. Nobody wants to do it just for fun, just because. Um, it's because we really need to see what's going on with baby. So that's the internal one um, to monitor baby's heart rate. And then the internal monitor uh, to monitor mom's contractions is the IUPC or the intrauterine pressure catheter. And this one can read how strong the contractions are. So it has a little sensor at the very end of it. Um, It's a little tube that goes right up and lays right beside baby. And it can read how strong they are in there. So it can tell us the frequency, the duration, and the strength. Um, This is helpful for moms who have an epidural and now you can't tell us anymore how strong your contractions are and maybe your labor has kind of stalled out a little bit and you're not changing at all and the doctors need to determine okay do we need to maybe get her started on some pitocin we can put the IUPC in and we can see exactly how strong they are Um, so it's a really good tool and really helpful but um, again those two internal monitors there is no labor nurse that's going to tell you they want to place them just for fun just because it's it's for safety and it's because we want to make sure that both mom and baby are okay we need to make sure mom's contractions are okay she's not having too many um making sure they're appropriate so um i hope that helps a little bit that's just a quick little briefing on the monitors that they use in the hospital um if you have any questions please feel free to contact me Make sure you follow me on all my social media and on YouTube as well. Um, I do have a couple videos on YouTube where I actually show some of the monitoring pieces. So definitely check that out um, so you can kind of see hands-on what it looks like. Um, On YouTube, you can find me at Baby Bump Life. So thank you so much for listening, guys, and I will talk to you all very soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.